Today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about alternative to fly time materials again, and this time we're going to talk about eyes, specifically what the plastic eyes like this. And you can get this brand, they work pretty good. That's what they look like when you get them. But I'm going to show you a way that you can make a bunch of them in alternative materials that you can get to use for them. So first and foremost, you can buy another type and they look like this. And they have a little bit of a, a, a end on it. You can get them in all different colors. So if you're wanting to do that, you can go and you can purchase hairbrushes. Now I have this box is full of all different kinds. I have some that are solid black there's some green ones you can get some really cool looking different color brushes nowadays for different saltwater crabs and stuff and shrimp you can use these gaudy bright colors and they work real well so if you're using those and, and you want to just use brushes that works out really easy so you can you can take and cut the pieces off glue them right in place and, and they work awesome say you're tying like a cicada and you want some big gaudy eyes like that you can take and I get these push pins that like quilters use and they're just a long pin with that end and you can cut these off and they'll stab right through foam so if you're tying a pattern that's got foam on it and you're wanting to make some big eyes just do that these pins work really well and i was worried about rust when i started messing with them and they, they don't they don't seem to be rusting and you can get little boxes of them all different colors another option for eyes a lot of people would think ah, that's not going to work i use these a lot they work really well so you can use them the next thing you can do is you can get you some monofilament so i like this stuff and it's just big salt water leader and you can get any any cheap like 50 pound mono 40 pound mono is going to work so you can take them take your lighter and heat them up and that's how us old guys used to do it that works works out pretty well so you can also take and buy a thing of beads and these you can get at hobby lobby and they were like 3.99 but a lot of times you'll find these on sale where you can get them for half price so you can get a great big thing a lifetime supply for just a few dollars or a couple dollars i should say so I got a couple of them in a cup right here. And this is a really easy method of making some really, and I would grab the screwed up one. Let me grab another one. That was a double bead. So all you got to do is you just take your, your bead and you look like a fool on the internet trying to find the hole. Keep your comments to yourself. All right, so I got the bead slid in there. And then all you need to do is you just take some super glue or UV, and, and I use a gel super glue whenever I'm doing stuff that's tedious like this, so I'm not getting it all over myself. And you just take and put a little bit of that super glue right on the tip. And I let that set for just a second, and then I just push my bead right up to it and that makes a pretty good eye so then the next method you can take some uv resin and this is some jewelry shop uv resin from hobby lobby i really like it you can get a bunch of colors it's really cheap so you just take and squirt a little bit on there i made it bigger than what i should so you can see it because it's kind of hard to see so what I do is I'll just take and I just kind of spin my mono around and let that work all over it. And then just hit it with a light. And hit it with your black light, spinning it while you're doing it. And it'll be hard as a rock. And you can get that jewelry shop. I think I have 18 different colors. And, and it works the same. So if you're wanting to get into making some shrimp or crawdads or anything with big eyes, you know, or antenna, you can you can make your own. You don't have to go buy a bunch of that. And you can go to a department store and buy some cheap 50 pound mono, you know, several hundred yards for two or three dollars. Now this stuff's a little bit more expensive, but I really like this stuff. Um, I use it for weed guards. It's really really stiff. Works good for that. So. Anyhow, guys, that's a few options. It's a pretty simple method to do. 
I'll sit one day and I'll just spend several hours in my fly making a whole, bu whole bunch of these in my fly room and I'll make them in all different colors and stuff like that and then I don't have to do it. So I will make several of them at a time and then I have them all put away and I don't have to sit there and do that a whole bunch. But you can spend a few minutes and literally you, you could make dozens of these things and, and it doesn't cost you anything. It's going to be stuff you have sitting on your fly bench. So I hope this helps, gives you another opportunity to find a different way to, to, to make eyes and antenna for, for your different insects and, and shellfish and stuff like that. So hope this helps. We'll see you in the next video.